Ladies and, and gentlemen, welcome back to another squad builder. This time we've doubled it. So last time we had 5 million coins, now we're going to be using 10 million. And in addition, those positional hero little upgrade thing, it was out for a little bit. It's gone now. But it's going to make it really, really easy to get some 98 overalls to 99 overalls. So it's going to be awesome. Uh, luckily, after a long, long, long run in with customer service, I was able to get Odell. So we do not need to buy a player to pl replace Odell, Emmett Smith, Gronkowski, Jerry Rice. Or Devin Hester, and honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to do special teams or not. So we shall see, but let's let's get rolling. Let's start it out with the offensive line. Already know I'm going to go for these two easy 98 O tackles, Mitchell Schwartz and Nate Solder, uh, or Nate Soldier. I don't know what uh, Nate is selling for. I'm thinking, all right, there's one for 120K. There's a nice pickup on a 98 O tackle. Now we'll go for uh, Mitchell, Mitchell Schwartz. I think he's going for round. Let's try 250K. That would be my best guess, honestly, at the moment. And there he is for 247.999. So our O tackles are squared away. O guards are going to be a little bit more expensive. I know we can get Mathis for around 350K. But let's see what other O guard we're going to have to end up getting. So for 333K, we can get 98 O guard of Mathis. But. I want to see who else we can get. I honestly don't know what else is out there. I think Richie Incognito is going to be the next one that's next cheapest. But if we can get someone other than him, we'll see if we can. I'm not really sure who else is uh, in the mix. Looks like Incognito is going to be definitely the best choice for our price range. And there's one for $384,500. we are going to take it. Those are some ridiculous that for three hundred fifty k and an O-Guard, a 98 O-Guard, that's like unheard of in Madden, so that's really, really good. Uh, basically, our offense is now, our offensive line's pretty much squared away. We're going to go with Weston Richburg. I already knew I wanted him, too. His stats are incredible. I mean, seriously, this is, that set made everything so much easier. These guys used to be like 900K easily. Now they're through 50K, so that definitely helped us out. Um, I didn't do the math for you guys yet. I apologize. We have about 18 positions to fill, and we have, or I'll just wait till I can do best lineup right at the end. But um, here, I guess I'll just do best lineup now. It's going to put in some random elite players, but those are just from, like, other positions. Okay, so our offensive line is clearly squared away. And now let's go replace Jordy, Ben, and Jed Collins. So we need one wide receiver or tight end. I'm honestly thinking I'm going to go with Julio because Julio's a beast, and for a 99 wide receiver, he's pretty cheap. Just kidding. He's I think Is he more around 500K, which would be unfortunate? Oh, goodness, he is. But he's definitely worth it. This is a ridiculously good 99 wide receiver. 99 jump, 98 excel, 99 catch, 96 speed. We're going to drop it. So we already spent a good amount. But like I said, uh, I didn't do the math for you. But I think we can almost spend about 500K per player. And we spent like only 300K on all those offensive linemen. Plus, Solder was like 120K. So that's going to leave us a lot of room for the halfback position. This is what I'm really, really excited about. We can get a lot of sweet halfbacks already just for 500K. We can get the 99 Adrian Peterson which I'm kind of leaning towards. That's 92 strength, 97 speed, 95 excel. Plus, I really, really like Adrian Peterson. Just how he plays in Madden. Also, I just like him. Oh, my God. 350K for a McFadden. Pretty sure that's a snipe, actually. Let me type in McFadden real quick. Uh, that's kind of a snipe. He's got 98 speed, 99 excel. But I'm kind of going for a trucking back, and I know Adrian Peterson's going to do some ridiculously good trucking. So I'm going to go with the 99 Adrian Peterson. Looks like we could pick up one for 350k, which is pretty dang cheap for him right now. So there's a sexy pickup. We got the 99 Adrian Peterson for 350,000 coins. Uh, honestly, we probably could have dropped a lot more on him, and I'm going to put him, I'm going to start him at halfback because, uh, I mean, we could have dropped a lot more just considering how many coins we have to spend. But uh, that just makes means we can make a sexy defense. And that's the nice thing about this is that a lot of these positions are already filled out. And I'm going to put Julio at starting wide receiver. I would much rather rather have him starting than Jerry Rice. So I'll put Jerry Rice at flex since he's probably my weakest wide receiver. So you can go here, Jerry. And then after that, we got to go pick up a quarterback. And honestly, I, you guys already probably know who I'm leaning towards. I'm leaning towards that Mike Vick. And let's see how much he's going to cost me. Oh, there's Manziel. Okay, so Manziel is actually the only 98 quarterback I get for 500k right now, but I don't want Manziel. I want Vic. So I think 575k should be good because Ultimate Legend Packs are out right now. I would assume, yep, there's one. I'm too good. 552k for the 98 overall Michael Vic. I'm going to take it. Ben Roethlisberger has a better throw stat than him. This is like, wow, that's sad. Come on, Vic. 
That's why that Manziel and that Cam are so good, because their throw stats are so amazing. So now we have we have a 102 offense, spending about probably three or four million coins. That's pretty freaking awesome. So our offense is squared away. Now let's head on over to defense. Uh, honestly, don't know where to start. I want to fill every single position, even though obviously some of these players would be all right to have in there. Um, let's start with linebackers. Let's see how much uh, some of the really top tier linebackers are going to cost. Let's see if we can get anybody for 350k. And it looks like we get, we're going to be saving some money. So Sean Lee, who is awesome, 79 man, 92 zone. That's I mean that's really really good. Him and Anthony Barr, both very good uh, linebackers. 97 for speed, 96 speed. It's between those two. And then there's the Suggs as well, who's probably a beast, but. Yeah, his coverages are really, really rough. So I'm not even going to go for him. Why don't we go... Let's try 500k, see if it, it kind of diversifies it a little bit. See if it really adds anyone in. Oh, it adds the flashback Doomerville. I don't know, though. This is a tough decision. All right, I'm going to go with Barr and Lee. I'm going to get both of them. And let's go 375k. 375k. I know Dion Buchanan, uh, he would be a ridiculous card to get, but I'm not going to get him. He's just... A little bit probably too expensive probably around a mil ish so i'm gonna go with sean lee and anthony barb so those two linebackers are squared away now i need an mlb i honestly don't know who i'm gonna go with on mlb i know clay matthews is in there but he's just too ugly uh he's so ugly i hate that card 99 pursuit though his stats are very good he's kind of slow 88 or 89 speed for a middle linebacker a lot of halfbacks can outrun that and then there's the zach thomas who's gonna be a lot sexier <laughs> Because that's all that matters. Uh, let's look at the coverages. So this clay has better coverages and higher speed. I'm going to go with that clay. Eh, he's too expensive for it. So we can get this this easy Clay Matthews 98 pickup for 120k. There's no reason not to do that, honestly. I guess is the way we're going to look at it. Um, let's go MLBs and linebackers. For about 600k, we could probably drop 600k, honestly, on him right now. Because we've got a lot of money to spend. And I don't want... Oh, let's go with the Lewis. The Ray Lewis is a very, very good card, and uh, he's used in a lot of the like really high overall lineups. So obviously he's got something going for him. Plus, plus one tackle. That's gonna be really cool too. Plus he's gonna hit stick the hell out of people, and that's what we like. So I'm fine with that pickup right there. So now we're at 9.7 mil. We can go all the way down to 3.8 mil. So we've got a lot to work with. I know who I'm going for next is the Cromartie. And this is a very, very expensive pickup. I already know it. This is going to be the 96. I'll go. I'll just type in Dominique. Oh, goodness. One point multiple mil on this guy. So 925K. Wow. One drop for 925,000 coins. That is really, really nice to see. Because that's going to save me about 200K right there just from having that nice drop. So I'm a happy man right now. I got the DRC. Plus two speed. Minus one acceleration. One of the best cornerbacks in the game i mean it's st statistically he's awesome but it's plus two speed and it's on defense which is really good uh we got one corner squared away i'm gonna look for eric barry honestly i'm gonna see if i can pick him up because that would be that would be pretty cool to get that card's really good and it's probably not very expensive anymore plus two strength plus two awareness is amazing for any team so if I can get him for about, it looks like I'm going to have to pay, pay about 555k for him. I'm willing to do that. I know his stats are not that great at this point in the game, but he's worth it for um, basically what he does for your team, obviously. So uh, let's go safety cornerback. We got to square this away. So we got a safety. We got a cornerback. What can we get for about, can we get any of these guys for about 400k? And I might have typed in 94, so there's going to be a lot of 94. So we can get a lot of 96 to 99 cornerbacks for a really good price. It looks like Ed Reed you can actually get. Wow. Let's go up to 98. So 98s for 400K. We can get Ed Reed. We can get Rashad Jones. I might. Malcolm Jenkins. Wow. Eric Weddle. Jeez. There is a roster of players you can get right. Sean Taylor. Yes, Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor's got that hit stick. We're going with Sean Taylor for sure. 351K for Sean Taylor. I'll take that any day of the week. And as long as we're here, why don't we pick up an Ed Reed as well? That sounds good to me. Let's go with Ed Reed. He's going to be hit sticking people. He's a monster. I am perfectly okay with that. And you know what? The signature Ed Reed has a little more speed, but I think we're just going to stick with the one we grabbed. That's okay. Uh, we're going to need another good cornerback, and the 98 speed Cromartie pops up right in front of me. So we got a lot going for us right now. I'm definitely going to pick that up. 
So let's see what we got. Let's see what we're looking like on defense so far. See what else we got to pick up. We just spent a lot of coins. Let's see what else we got to pick up. So we got Cromartie, Sean Taylor, Barr, Matthews, Lewis, Sean Lee, Ed Reed, and DRC. So we need one more cornerback slash safety. We need our D tackles and our D ends. And we have about $4 million to spend on it. Wow. Eh, more like $3 million. We got $3 million, five players. So we can get about... 600k on each player so that's we're definitely doing good we definitely you know manage manage our money pretty well so let's go cornerback safeties why don't we why don't we look for dawkins the old dawkins because he's gonna do plus two strength plus two tackle and we can get him for about 600k which is really exciting to me because this this is one of my favorite cards he's got high pursuit and um not super high pursuit but he's got really high hit power and he's good for the entire team obviously so um Statistically, probably not the best pickup at this point in the game, but still, plus two strength, plus two tackle. It's going to make the whole team awesome. So that is squared away. Now let's go check out DNs and D tackles. Why don't we start with DNs? Let's see what's in there for around 600K. That's our price range, correct? We can get a stray hand. Wow, I remember when stray hand, you could never get stray hand a long time ago for that price. That's crazy. We could get the, tar the Carlos Duns. <laughs> The speaks. We get the Carlos Dunlap with plus two awareness. That's actually a possibility. That's pretty cool. Oh, uh, the Jason Taylor's sweet because of his Excel. But I don't know how his block shed is. Honestly, and I did this last time, one of the best DNs still in this game is this Muhammad Wilkerson. I know he's not expensive, but he has 99 block shed. That's ridiculous. That's so good. So we're going to use 100K right here. We're going to pick up this Muhammad Wilkerson. And that's, that's like one of my favorite pickups ever so i'm not going to complain about that now we can go drop a lot of money on a really good dn why don't we go 99 dns i don't even know what dns are 99 and it lo looks like they're all going to be really expensive so i might not be able to do this we'll just go back into 98 and honestly i should have uh jj watt by now but i haven't been doing the gauntlet so he would usually just be already sitting in there but that's whatever so 98 DNs, we could get the Dwight Freeney here, 94 Pursuit, oh my goodness. The Jason Taylor and the Dwight Freeney so far look like my best bet. Those are definitely two of the higher tiers. Um, he's got 91 speed, Bennett's got 83 speed, so definitely Jason Taylor and Dwight Freeney. I'm going to go with Jason Taylor though because of that acceleration, which is like acceleration and pursuit, you can catch people on the edge like ridiculously. So we're gonna go with the Jason Taylor, that's gonna be my D end. Muhammad Wilkerson's gonna be on the other side, which leaves us with the D tackle position. And I know, I'm feeling like we should get this Kwan short, especially, I mean, he's a 99 D tackle. Let's go with that. Let's go with the Kwan short for sure. And I'm thinking we go with MJG on the other one, since that Mean Joe Green obviously I mean, he's ridiculous, for one. He's got 100 strength, and then he also adds to your team with um, something. He adds to your team with agility, I think. Yeah, plus one agility to the whole team. So 100 strength on one of the... This has been one of the best D-tackles in the game for a long time now. So 690,000 coins for that. And we've saved, like, 1.2 million. So we really only spent 8.8 .8 million. And let's see if there's anywhere we can improve... Uh, and maybe just sell a player off and improve as we're going. So, wow. I really, really like how this team looks. Honestly, that Clay Matthews, though, that is ugly as... That's ugly as shit. I hate looking at that. So, let's see how much that Dion Buchanan's going to cost us. Um, I know I spelled that wrong, honestly. The Bu Buchanan's, that's just an ugly... That's an ugly last name. Let's go B-U-C. There we go. <laughs> I apologize. I usually am pretty good with my spelling. So 745,000 for, in my opinion, one of the best linebackers in the game. 99 pursuit. The coverages are ridiculous, and he's got really good speed, really good acceleration. So if we went 745k for him, we could move. We could move some, but I want him as one of the starting linebackers for certain. I'm gonna put him in for Sean Lee. I'm going to move Sean Lee to the flex middle linebacker slash linebacker position and then I'll move Ray Lewis to my starting middle linebacker position even though I think it's saying Clay Matthews no perfect that is a team that I like to look at we have built a 101 overall team with 10 million eh coins and now the Brandon Fields and the Billy Condiff I already had on my squad those did not count in the price but I had about 400k left over so I actually probably could have bought them so Ladies and gentlemen, that was an excellently built squad. Look at, so here we'll review. So a lot of you probably just skipped to the end at this point. This is the point you want to see. We built this squad with about 9.8 million coins. Wow. 
Uh, the, the Odell, obviously Jerry, Emmett Smith, and Gronk obviously helped out, but a lot of people will probably have those on their team, especially if you have about 10 million coins. So, uh, Julio Jones, Adrian Peterson, the positional hero sets obviously made this super easy to do. We got the Mike Vick, and the defense is sexy. Plus two speed, DRC, plus two tackle, Dion Buchanan with amazing stats. We got Kwan Short, Mean Joe Green, Jason Taylor. Muhammad Wilkerson. Now, here's why I picked up Muhammad Wilkerson. For 100K, I picked up a player with 99 strength, 81 speed, 99 block shed, 97 power moves, 99 tackle. That is an awesome card. One of my favorite cards in this game at the moment, to be honest. Um, but I'd say that's about it for now, ladies and gentlemen. we got Eric Berry and Brian Dawkins down at those safety positions. A lot of people would say that's kind of silly, but I personally really like it. Uh, this has been a really, really fun video. We built an entire 101 team with 10 mil, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me and watching it. Uh, I'm working on a day in the life of MMG. I'll get that out to you eventually. But okay, guys, thanks for watching as always. Take care. Goodbye. Kisses. Mm.